George Edwin Curtis was born December 3rd, 1841 in South Wales, Australia and came to America approximately 1855. George Curtis joined the army in 1861 and was activated March 6, 1862. Gettysburg in pursuit of Lee's army. George Curtis fought at Fredericksburg Chancellorville. Corporal George Curtis in uniform was on the grounds of the April Maddox Courthouse witnessing General Robert E. Lee and his army surrender to USS General Grant. It is a great honor, a distinct privilege, to have words of praise for the life of this veteran that we salute today. There's a poem written by an Army veteran by the name of Charles Hogan. What inspired him to write it were his thoughts about the casualties of war, the killed, the missing, the wounded. It's called a soldier's poem. It is the soldier, not the minister, who has given us freedom of religion. It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. 
It is the soul, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us a right to assemble. It is the soldier, not the, not the lawyer, not the politician, who has given us a right to vote. It is the soldier who serves under the flag, whose coffin is draped by the flag, who allows the protest to burn the flag. It is the soldier who salutes the flag. We proudly salute and honor our soldiers for their service bravery, sacrifice, and for the freedoms we all enjoy today. That's the poem. Now hear this. A nation reveals itself not only by the men and women it produces, but also by those that it honors and those it remembers. Through untold courage and sacrifice, America's veterans have secured the liberties which our founding fathers sought to establish long ago. George Curtis continued that legacy. By his service, he gave testament to his loyalty to this country and his own great courage. Today, we pay special tribute in memoriam for his military service and for advancing the hope of peace, freedom, and liberty for all. His distinctive service in the Union Army of the North reflected great credit upon himself and upon the United States of America, marking him a national treasure and giving us this moment to memorialize his help in providing our freedom. This flag is presented on behalf of a grateful nation. It is the soldier, not the minister, who has given us freedom of religion. It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, 
not the campus organizer who has given us freedom to protest. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the soldier, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. It is the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves beneath the flag, and whose coffin is draped by the flag. Who allows the protester to burn the flag? We proudly salute and honor our veterans for their service, bravery, sacrifices, and for the freedoms we all enjoy today.